everybody. Welcome to Teensy Vintage. This is Teresa, and today we are doing a collage piece. Um, and I just want to be up front. This piece gave me such a headache. I thought it was going to be really simple, and it just turned out to be <laughs> me making a lot of mistakes. Um, but you know what? That happens, and I just kept going. Um, is the finished piece my favorite? Mm, probably not, but am I happy with the experience? Yes. I think that um, the next time I do this piece, I will avoid certain things, um, and I will do other things differently. I'm happy I made this piece. These two ladies are really beautiful, and I just love the peaceful... Um, scene that that they are are the composition rather I just feel like I I don't know the ink got away from me the the dots yeah yeah the the uh stabilo woody pencil got away from I mean it just yeah <laughs> sometimes you sit down at the desk and you think you know what you're doing and you're um, medium, your media is doing something else. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. Like I said, this is not the only, uh, image. This is actually a digital image that I had. So all I have to do is print out, uh, the image again and make another piece. But I wanted to go ahead and put this video up because one, uh, just wanted to show that, you know, People make mistakes. We all start doing um, a piece and then the next thing we know, something goes wrong. Well, how do you deal with that? There's a lot of things you can do. You can deal with it in the moment or you can come back to it later. Or you know what? You can just stop and start over. Um, so anyway, let's get, get going here. I have a lot of scrap papers and little pieces of paper over here with um, script on them. And I just kind of felt like, you know, some kind of vintage script would go really nicely with the vintage ladies. Uh, earlier I had punched out with my one inch hole punch, those flowers from a floral piece of scrapbook paper. And now I've decided I'm going to do a background with some distress oxide ink. And I've pulled out three colors. Um, we've got picked raspberry, Villainous Potion, and Victorian Velvet. The Victorian Velvet doesn't really end up working very well, but that's okay. That's uh, one of the mistakes. Um, so I've got this stencil. It's by Chow Bella, and I believe it's called Prestige. Um, yeah. It's a nice lace-like stencil. Um, there's some blue on there from a previous piece that I did and there's a mistake. I went over the edge of the stencil and so you know what I said I'm just gonna flip the paper so I did. <laughs> That's the way to fix that. And now I'm redoing the purple and I'm making sure not to go over the edge and I've succeeded this time. Yay! So problem number one fixed. Now I'm switching colors. I've got the picked raspberry, which is a beautiful bright pink. Um, it worked out really well, I thought. And I'm just putting this stencil down. I'm not lining up the two colors at all. In fact, I'm just randomly stenciling um, over them. So it's a bit of a chaotic look. And I thought it looked pretty cool. So I made that mistake again up top. You can see me trying to <laughs> trying to get rid of it. All right, here's my focal piece again. And I'm like, well, maybe I need some more color in here. So now I'm going in with my brush and I'm just putting in some purple background, the Villainous Potion, just to have something back there that gives a little bit of depth. 
because I didn't want the two figures to just be floating on top of stenciled ink. Also, this stencil, I'm uh, sorry, the, the round, um, it's not a brush, it's a little sponge. I think it's a little bit on the old and used side, so it wasn't exactly giving me the smoothest application, no matter how lightly I went over my paper. So it ended up looking like billowy smoke. <laughs> so I ran with it. And now I'm rearranging. I end up putting my focal point in the corner where I had done all that stencil work. So that beautiful work is going to get covered up. And sometimes that happens too. Um, another mistake, sure. But you know what? That's okay. A lot of times when we're doing mixed media work, layers just get covered up. And um, this is one of those times. So now I am going to figure out what goes over here on the right. And I've got this... Uh, piece of paper with some very pretty old-fashioned handwriting on it. I want it to kind of have an angle so that your eye follows from the top left to the bottom right. And I'm also going to make a few circles out of the script paper as well. And I'm going around the edges here with the Villainous Potion just to kind of give it a finished look and a little more purple up there at the top. I'm going to leave the top right blank so I have a lot of negative space. And I'll glue down the script and the focal and then continue with the, the hole punch dots. Just going to use my Uhu glue stick here to adhere the focal to the background. You want to make sure to use some kind of straight edge so that you can smooth out any air bubbles. That way you won't get a lumpy collage. <clears throat> okay. A little more purple up there. Now I am going to spend some time figuring out where the little flowers go. And this takes me a while. I was very indecisive. I will say I don't think I was necessarily feeling the flow you know, the artistic flow that, that we sometimes get, get into when we're making. Um, the flow was not with me um, this particular evening, and that's okay. Sometimes, you know, the muse comes and goes, and sometimes you just, uh, you get it, and you, you run with it. Sometimes you kind of have to, like, figure it out. And I... I stared at this piece for a long time. <laughs> Took me over an hour to complete this. And uh, most of it was me rearranging, seeing what worked, what didn't, adding, taking away, seeing if an odd number of dots would work or an even number um, placement, you know, it, a, a lot of decisions. So here I am, I'm starting to put these pieces down and feeling pretty good about it. I really liked the way the delicate flowers and the script worked with the focal image. It's a very feminine image and I just felt like these were little tiny pieces that were also very feminine. I thought about doing one that would be a half circle and ended up not doing that. And here I am with just a, a barest hint of the Victorian velvet 
around the pencil. Now here is another mistake. I've got my gold uh, Sharpie, and I love this Sharpie, but when the Sharpie met the ink, it turned black. So I said, all right. So now I'm going around all of the circles with a Stabilo Woody in, in a shiny gold. It doesn't look the same, but the Woody didn't turn black. It stayed gold and it also was, you know, I could soften it with my finger and it just, you know, gave a little bit more of a finished look to these circles. The top circle, still not ideal. Um, I wasn't really able to cover up that smoky black look, but you know what? It, it is what it is. So here I am with a Stabilo Marksall and I'm going to activate that with water. And all I'm doing here is outlining the two women with the black Stabilo and just giving them um, a nice outline. It, it just looks more finished. So just using a very tiny brush. I think this is a size zero brush just to add a small amount of water and to soften those lines. And I have to sharpen my pencil midway. The lead in these is very soft, so when you sharpen them, you've got to be very gentle so that you don't break your lead off in the pencil sharpener. Um, but they do, you know, get get used up fairly quickly. They're very soft, which is what's wonderful about them. They're smudgeable and, you know, water activated, and so you can make them very soft looking. And now I'm just going around, just getting any little spots I might have missed. And that looks good. All right. So here I am. I'm trying to smudge or soften some of the ink, but the napkin doesn't really do anything. And uh, I think... I think that might be it. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, here's where I got a bright idea. <laughs> here's my big mistake. So I got a dry brush and I was like, I'm going to give this lady some eyeshadow. And I thought by using a dry brush with the ink that I would have a nice smooth coverage. Well, I wet the ink and then it was like, now I'm going to smudge it with my finger. And of course, what happens when you do that on wet media? It tears. So I had a big tear right on her eyeball. Very romantic. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so upset. So anyway, I said, well, fine. I had some circles left over and I picked one out and I glued it on top of her eye. That's an artsy fix. Do I love it? No. Uh, is this a piece that I'm really proud of? Not really. I am proud that I kept going, that I did some problem solving. But in all honesty, this piece just made me mad. <laughs> and that's okay. So I'm going to put the date on it and my signature and call it done. Um, <laughs> so much for a beautiful romantic piece, but you know what? I finished it and I'm happy. Thanks for watching y'all. I really appreciate it and have a good week and I will see you next time.